The Magenta PLM Solid Edge Data Management application is simple to install and configure, built right inside Solid Edge where we can define the connection to the pre-configured database, equally suitable for single users or complete networked multi-user environments. We have complete control over the Solid Edge properties we want to synchronize with the SQL database. Projects can be defined too. We can also define neutral file types to be automatically saved as the Solid Edge files are saved. This can include any standard Solid Edge export format, including ParaSolid, STEP, Sheet Metal Flat Pattern DXFs, 2D and 3D PDFs, DWG, and much more. And that's it. Setup is complete. Working with existing legacy data is easy, since all data is captured as we work. Simply save the file and the properties are automatically registered in the database. The property dialog allows us to automatically assign part numbers or use the file names for the part number. The relevant data is captured as we work through our projects. Built-in powerful search capabilities allow us to find data fast. Let's search for everything in our database so far. All first level documents and their properties from the save we've just performed are in the database. The Solid Edge Viewer file has also been captured. The assembly file has also been checked out to me since I have it open for edit. It was marked as in work automatically, which means no one else can edit the file until I check it back in. Let's open a subassembly. We can do this in the normal way. Then we'll simply save the file to register the top level components in the database as before. Each sheet metal file in this subassembly has a flat pattern defined. The flat pattern DXF files and the parasolid files are saved to the database since we configured these options in the initial setup. Now we'll search for these files. We can see that the search bar displays the solid edge parts as well as their neutral files. This saves time and effort as we don't have to manually export these files when they're needed later. The exported files are also kept up to date since they're saved as and when we save the native parts. How about when we create brand new files? A supplier has provided us with some components in Parasolid format. We'll import these and register them in the data management system. will specify a suitable material. Then save the file. This time we'll use the auto part number facility for the document number and the file name. This ensures we don't create duplicate files or document numbers. Once again the relevant properties are captured. Let's create a drawing for this part. then add a few dimensions and annotations. Then we can save the drawing. Saving the draft file will also create a PDF file for us too. Now that the drawing is registered, we can add a revision comment. We'll specify first issue. This adds the comment to our revision notes, which are configurable in the drawing template. The title block is also automatically populated to show the model properties. We're done with these files for now, so let's close them down. Let's import another Parasolid file. Save it and auto number it as we did before. Once again, the file name is defined automatically and the part properties and neutral files are also saved to the database. We want to add the two imported parts into this subassembly. Let's do another search. We'll find all the parts that contain the property plate. As you can see, searches are very fast and our two imported plates have been found. Double clicking on the thumbnail preview 
opens the image in a large, higher resolution window. When we select a part, we can use the assemble command to place it into our active assembly. We then assemble the parts in the normal way. Let's skip ahead to show them completely positioned. We'll create a drawing of the assembly. Once again the BOM and title block are automatically updated to show our model properties when registered. Then we can save the drawing to register it in the database. We'll also add a revision comment and then close all the files. Now we'll open an existing drawing of the top level assembly and update the drawing view and parts list. Then we'll add a revision comment and save it to register it in the database. Then we'll open the top level assembly from the drawing. If we search on everything again, the search bar will display everything that's been automatically captured in the database so far. This includes PDF and DXF files of all drawings, Parasolid and JT files of all parts, flat pattern DXF files of all sheet metal parts, and more. We can save to disk all or some of these captured files associated with this current assembly. We simply specify the neutral file types to save. We can also choose whether we want the latest working or latest revision of the files. All solid edge properties are displayed in the form too. Simply select the folder to save to and the files are rapidly saved to disk, saving hours of wasted repetitive work. When we want to formally issue these files, maybe for manufacture, this is also very easy. The issue form shows us all the files that are potentially ready for issue, together with their properties and the neutral files. We can choose to see all the files worked on by me, or even that of the whole team of Solid Edge users. We can enter a description for the issue job. It's then given a unique reference. The neutral files are saved out to the configured issue folder. The files are named automatically to contain the document number, revision and type. Now let's go and revise the plate 1 component. The file doesn't get checked out when we open it as it's been issued at revision A. The part status is set to available. To initiate a revision we simply need to save the file. It's now checked out to me. and the status is set to in work. Let's go ahead and make a couple of changes. Of course synchronous technology makes this easy. We'll record the changes now using a revision comment. We'll then search for plate 1. We can see that there is both a revision A and a latest revision of the neutral files. Also the drawing is highlighted in blue, indicating that it's possibly out of date. To check the drawing, we can use the open draft of model command. This will open the drawing without us worrying about having to browse for the file. We'll update the views. Looking at the title block, we can see that the revision has been incremented automatically, and the model revision comments have been added to the revision notes. Let's also add some missing dimensions.
we can add this as a revision comment as well. These appear in the revision notes too. Let's save and close this file. Looking at the search tool more, our last 10 search terms are saved. Our draft file is now displaying as up to date. Here we can quickly view both the current and previous versions of drawings for the part in Adobe PDF Reader. The search tool also provides an instant nested where used capability. This will display all parent assemblies, allowing us to identify the possible impact of changes very quickly. We can open files directly from the search pane. Here we can graphically assess the implications of our out of context changes. To initiate a revision of the assembly, we simply need to save it. We'll open the draft file of this assembly model. Then update the views. Save it. Then add a revision comment. Once again, these appear in the drawing border. We'll close the draft file. Let's run the where use search again on this subassembly. This will allow us to open the top level assembly and update its drawing too. We'll save it. Then use the open draft command to access the drawing. Update the views, save and add the appropriate revision comment. We might now want to issue the changes we've just made to all these files. Hitting the issue command will do this for us. Here we can see that it will output the revision B updated neutral files. The Magenta PLM data management application maintains an entire audit trail of all our previous model and drawing revisions. It does this using neutral file formats. At any time we can create a new part from any previous revision of a part. Simply select it and choose the new part command. Then choose the desired template. We'll give this new part a material. Then make some changes to it. We'll remove these holes. Then adjust the position of this face. Then we can save and auto number it to register it in the database. Once again, we'll search for all parts that contain the property plate. We can see that we now have three. What happens to solid edge links if we manually move files? Let's take a look. We'll create a new folder and move our plate one part into it. Then we'll open the assembly that contains the plate. As expected, the link will have been broken and the part will be missing from the assembly. We'll search for the plate. The database also reports it as missing. The Magenta PLM data management application can automatically fix this kind of problem. The check files command reports problems like this and gives us the option to repair them.
If we open the draft file, we can see it doesn't report any broken link issues. The drawing is now linked to the part in its new location. If we go back and open the assembly, we can see that the part link has also been restored here too. If we look at the file's properties, we can see its new location is correct. The part has been replaced by the moved part. Imagine the steps you would need to go through to handle this manually. Also coming soon to the Magenta PLM data management solution, a standalone viewer application. Search and view any Solid Edge file without requiring a Solid Edge license. Access all the neutral files that have been created by the data management application. Here we can see the two revisions of the plate. Let's search for the assembly. Here we can see the two revisions of the assembly drawing. We can also access all of the Solid Edge assembly bill of material information. We can also save out any of the neutral files on demand. We'll choose the PDFs of this assembly and the latest issued option. Then choose a folder and they are instantly exported for us. Always up to date and always available. The Magenta PLM data management application. Very fast, very simple, very powerful and yet completely affordable.